Hi, are you unsure about how credit scores work and what they mean? Or have you just moved to the UK and are you trying to apply for credit or a loan? Well, in this video, I'm going to be specifically talking about what are credit scores, how do they work and what specifically should you be doing in order to maintain a good score. Also, if you stay until the end of this video, then I'll be providing my tips to make sure that you never get rejected for a credit application when you apply for one. Get strong. Get strong. Hi, my name is Arjun and welcome to The Nimble Nomad, uh, my channel where I talk about my tips, tricks and hacks to survive and thrive in the UK. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be specifically talking about credit scores and how you can develop and maintain a good credit score. So let's get into it. Now, before I talk about credit scores and what they mean, I just want to clarify that I am not a qualified financial advisor. So I am not qualified to provide professional advice. If you are in the process of, uh, you know, developing a good credit score or are unsure about anything that I'm talking about in this video, then please do your own research and seek professional help. So what is a credit score? A uh, credit score is a, a number which is used by a lending agency such as a bank or a credit card company in order to assess the uh, likelihood of you paying back um, a money that is lent to you. Lenders like banks and credit card agencies will look at your credit history and your past payment um, data um, in order to assess the level of risk of uh, lending you money with through the use of a credit score or a credit rating as a reference point. Why is a credit score important and why should you care? Uh, so lenders and credit agencies use a, a credit score to develop a profile based on your previous use of credit uh, in order to assess and identify the risk of lending money to you specifically. This, uh, they use the credit score to work out uh, the likelihood of you paying back money that is lent to you in the form of mortgages, car loans, credit cards and any other form of credit. In theory, the better your credit score, the higher likelihood of you obtaining credit when you apply for it. And also, uh, through a better score, you will be eligible for better interest rates. So uh, you will basically be eligible for lower interest rates through on, on credit that is available to you. Your credit score is almost like a money CV. Uh, so if you make the right decisions and you're smart about it, uh, then it will benefit you in the long term when you want to make big ticket purchases like a home or a car. Uh, so, you know, better credit options will be available to you. If you make poor or poor decisions around credit uh, and paying back credit, then it can leave a permanent and lasting impact on your credit score and thereby impact your ability to get credit in the future. Now, word of caution is that a perfect credit score does not guarantee you credit. It is only merely a reference point. Uh, lenders such as banks and credit card agencies view your credit score as a reference point, but they consider a whole host of other factors. One of the factors being how profitable you will be as a uh, customer to them. So a uh, perfect score does not guarantee you credit. How does it work and where can I check my score? Um, so where can you check your credit score? So uh, credit score is free to access uh, and you can access them on any of these major credit reference agencies. The two that I recommend and I have personally used are Experience and Equifax service in the UK, which is called ClearScore. So um, point to note, uh, each credit reference agency will measure your credit score differently through different factors. So Experian measures your credit score on a range of 0 to 999, so 999. And uh, ClearScore measures your uh, credit score from 0 to 700. Um, each one of these uh, credit reference agencies has different banding within their uh, scoring system, uh, right from excellent down to poor, and ClearScore has their own. Um, but through these bands, you are then eligible for um, 
when you apply for applications, the um, credit lending agencies will use these bands as reference points to lend you money uh, and uh, provide you with interest rates that are available to you. You can register for a free account on any of these websites uh, if you search for them on Google. Um, there are some premium services available through each one of these uh, credit reference agencies, but to be able to access and view your basic score, it is absolutely free. So how does your credit score work? So your credit score is impacted by your activity with money and uh, the different uh, you know, things that you do with credit and credit applications. There are basically two fundamental types of, um, you know, credit activity that can impact your credit score um, and th they are basically a soft search and a hard search. So basically, a, you know, I'm just going to simplify this for you. A soft search is when you search on a price comparison website or a website just to check your eligibility uh, and for best rates uh, for in, based on interest rates or best options for a specific type of credit. So you're looking for a good credit card that fits your needs. So you enter your details on these websites uh, and they can provide you your eligibility. So the percentage likelihood of you getting a specific type of credit and um, the options that you have available to you. Now this will result in a soft search against your credit file, but the soft search does not leave a permanent mark and does not impact your credit score. The second bit is a hard search. So a hard search is basically when you make a formal application for a credit uh, or a loan. So a credit card or a loan. Uh, when you make a formal application, it will um, the credit lending agency will process that application, do a formal search on your credit file, which will leave a permanent uh, record on the credit file, which is viewable to other lenders in the future, and therefore will and will also subsequently impact your credit score. Right. So if you're rejected for that credit application, then your credit score goes down essentially. So you need to be a bit careful. Point to note, these hard searches stay on your file for a maximum of two years. Also note that when a hard search is performed, the soft, uh, before said, me, uh, mentioned uh, soft searches cannot be found by the lenders or the uh, credit agencies. So how do you get and maintain a good credit score? So the first and most obvious thing is get a credit card. Um, so uh, there are many different types of credit cards that are available to you in the UK. Uh, there are specific credit cards that are designed for bad credit or for credit building. Uh, so if you search on any of the credit, uh, any of the price comparison websites for credit cards after you've entered your details in order to run a soft search, uh, then you can find um, credit cards which will help you develop and build your credit uh, score essentially. Point number two, um, use your credit sparingly. So don't, um, as soon as you get a credit card, you're assigned a maximum balance when you get a credit card. So when you get this, don't just start splurging on the credit card. Yes, you should use your credit card and you should uh, you know, have a history of paying back that credit card and I'll talk about this subsequently but don't go full out. So if, if your credit balance is a thousand pounds, you don't want to be using the full thousand pounds. So the ideal number that they say or they recommend is anywhere between a 10 and a 30%. And over a period of time, and as you build your credit history, your credit, credit card agency will enhance your credit limit. So from thousand pounds, they may increase it to 2000 or 3000 pounds and subsequently so on and so forth. So, Therefore, you know, you can then increase the percentage that you're spending on your, on your credit card. Number three, pay your bills always on time. Um, there is, you know, this can be a bit of a red herring with people, but make sure you always, always, always pay your credit card bill absolutely on time. If you fail to, or if you forget to pay the bill on time, this can have a negative impact on your credit uh, score. Number four, multiple applications of credit within a short span of time. Um, so you need to be careful when you're applying for credit, um, not to apply for too many applications in a very, very short span. So within one month, let's say you apply for three different types of credit, right? 
that will have a negative impact, a significant impact and a negative impact on your credit score. So you need to space these out over a period of time. And the other bit that you want to be thinking about when you're applying for credit is it's not just applying for formal credit in the form of a credit card or a loan. There are other factors. So if you change your utilities contract, so your gas and electricity contract in the UK, that has a bearing on your credit score. If you apply for a new mobile phone contract, that has an impact on your credit score. If you open another bank account, that has an impact on your credit score. So these acti this financial activity all strings up a sort of a history and image about you as a person. And this can start having detrimental impact if you're doing too many of these changes in a very short span of time. The point to keep in mind is if you do do have to make these changes in a short span of time and it does impact your score negatively, the score is not permanent. You can improve it over a period of time. So don't get disheartened if you see a, a, a very low score as a result of these activities. Right. Thanks for staying with me up until this point. Uh, so as I mentioned to you, I'm gonna now talk about uh, the top tips that you should consider and that will help you in never ever getting rejected for a credit application if you follow these going forward. So number one, uh, whenever you apply for credit, you need to make sure you have the uh, adequate or necessary income to pay off that credit in the future. So some credit cards or some types of credit require a minimum amount of income now if you apply for that credit without hitting that minimum you are instantaneously going to be rejected or if you have no income and you're applying for a credit card then you're going to be rejected so always make sure that you have an income that can then supplement the payment of that credit number two check your credit file and your credit score every year so um I think the, the, the best thing to do is always every year log on to these free accounts on all the major ones, all the major credit, credit reference agencies and check your credit score and your credit file. So what are your outstanding balances uh, and what do you have as credit that's open at the moment? So what this essentially does is one, because each one of these reference agencies measures you differently, it gives you a general view of uh, you know, your reference point for getting credit. And two, it also identifies any mistakes if you've, uh, you know, got anything incorrectly uh, tabbed against your uh, account or your file. So for example, if you had a loan, a car loan, but you've paid off that car loan, but that car loan is still showing up as an outstanding balance, then that can have an you know, impact in applying for credit uh, in the future. So I, you know, as a personal experience, I've just had that. So I paid off my car loan, but I still have it against my file. So I actually had to reach out to the, uh, com the car loan company and tell them that you guys have incorrectly recorded uh, the loan as outstanding and they've not corrected it. But you know, these things can matter when you're applying for other types of credit. Number three, avoid payday loans. Um, so payday loans in the UK are emergency loans. If you run out of money and you absolutely need money, these are loans which pay out immediately, but they come at a very high interest rate. Um, so when you apply for these types of loans, they obviously are a hard search and they have an impact on your credit score, but they also, uh, other lending agencies would view this uh, negatively in that, you know, you've applied for a payday loan, which means you're not good with managing your money and therefore they would be hesitant in lending you money in the future. Number four, uh, register on the electoral roll. So this is pretty basic. If you are British or a Commonwealth national, then you are eligible to register on the British electoral roll. Uh, credit lending agencies view individuals who register on the electoral roll as you know, good uh, citizens and moral citizens. So therefore it automatically boosts your credit score a little bit and increases your likelihood of getting credit in the future. Number five, check your application form. So double, triple, multiple check, double check it with your partner when you apply for credit. So simple things like an incorrect name or a salutation or a, you know, incorrect minor address detail, um, can have an impact to the decision of a credit application. So I once had this where I had incorrectly put an address, uh, just a flat number was, you know, it said flat C instead of C. 
and as a result of this um, my credit application got rejected so I actually called them and I clarified uh, the the mistake uh, but I could have avoided this whole hassle by just making sure I was double and triple checking all the details on my application form before submitting it so it's very important to keep these in mind. Finally, uh, joint accounts. So um, when you have a joint account, it basically intertwines your financial uh, and credit file with another person. So when you apply for a credit application, such as a loan or a credit card, that agency or a lender can check not only your credit history and file, but it will also check the credit history and file of the person that you have a joint account with. So when you are applying for a credit application, just make sure that you not only check your own personal credit score and, and file, but you also check the credit file and score of your partner or the person that you have a joint account with. Because if they have a negative or poor credit rating, then that can have an implication on your ability to get a credit, um, credit card or a loan in the future. So that's it guys for this video. Um, please make sure to like and hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll be back with more videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like me to continue uh, providing you more content or if you've got specific questions or types of uh, content that you'd like me to produce then please comment on the section below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much.